Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Sword Art Online and we're doing the episode, season one, episode two called Beater. So we start off with um, people are having a meeting to find the boss room. And so one guy did find it and he wants people in a party of six. So um, basically people are going to have like you know, duo teams or have their friends play or anything and Kreto's kind of a loner and he partners up with a girl named Asuna. Then a guy interrupts and it calls out the beta testers and basically tells them to apologize. Then another guy comes out and um, fires back and says that the betas created the guidebooks in order to help the players out and they're not getting any kickback from it because like usually if you have like a, a it's not really a cheat sheet it's more like a how to play the game type deal for free like that usually doesn't happen you usually have to pay to do that and and he wants the items slash me to be divided equally then Asuna and Kriyoto talk and they go over the plans and basically she is a newbie and she is like, this is her first ever VR game, which is kind of crazy. And um, we go to the boss free time, and we find out that uh, Suna is really amazing at playing this game. Like, she is awesome. And we cut to where a guy is going solo, but it was a wrong move. And this guy named Diable. I'm probably saying that wrong. That's like I am. And then it's Kurito versus Asuna versus the boss. So the guys help out, but uh, Asuna and Kurito managed to defeat the boss. And then Kurito got the black coat. And the guy is having a pity party slash leaves. Um, and then uh, like yells him out. <laughs> so Kurito plays it up and alienates himself on purpose and leaves. So this was a crazy episode. I guess another A. A strong A episode because you got this douchebag who's coming in and is like, well, moo, 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 moo. And, you know, it's like, it's not the beta people's fault that this happened. It's the creator's fault that's doing this. So quit being an irrational dum-dum. Let's figure out a way to rationally get through this. And I love the um, work between um, Asuna and Kurito, how they uh, fight well together and team up well together. Um, my only thing is like, She's like a noob. I don't know how she can do all this moves and stuff, so that's kind of crazy for me. But um, other than that, it was a really good episode. I really enjoyed it, and I was expecting the beta person to be the leader of the group. But um, it was interesting because the moves were different in there, so um, them in the beta test, and um, how Kurito protects Asuna and isolates himself alone and says that he is a beater. And um, he likes that name, so that's what he's going to be going be called by. So, really good episode. Really enjoyed it. You get to learn more in depth on how Kurito treats people and how he protects people and how good of a player he is and uh, Wells Asuna. And I want to say Agil was in there too. Um, the guy that spoke, spoke about, I think, I think his name is Agil. I got to check. I'm pretty sure that's right though. But anyway. Really good episode. I really enjoyed it. And that's one different this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree or disagree? Also, suggestions for any other shows or music. I want to try to find a workaround around doing music because uh, the whole Article 13 issue. And so I might just do reviews for it and not play any of the music on there because I'll just write down notes and stuff and tell you what I think about the songs. So that might be better. So anyway. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Alright, bye. <laughs>